Hey everybody, Smouse is back in the house and finally got a video of uh, my coin show pickups uh, here ready for you. Um, I think I might do some, you know, just from keeping it too long, this be kind of like an overview again. And then I'll probably break it down maybe into dimes, quarters, half dollars, things like that, and break it up into a few videos. Um, so if you want to see things up closer and, you know, I'll do a couple short videos of each thing, you know, and do close-ups on them. Uh, this will just, like I said, be a little bit of overview. So if you want to see those other videos, uh, you know, hit that notification. And, you know, the, that way you'll know when they come up. Um, so just run through real quick. Uh, when I go to coin shows, I don't have anything particularly usually I'm looking for. I do like foreign silver, so I do kind of go through um, that stuff when they have it. Well, but mainly I just kind of more of an opportunist person like if I see something that's a good price and I like it or whatever you know that's what I buy so um, as you can, I don't know if you can read the prices on these but a lot of these dimes are marked under spot price so I've got quite a few older Merc dimes from 16 18 19 and 20 uh, that aren't in bad shape and we're all uh, spot or under uh, got a pretty worn Barber, but like I said again, it's only a dollar fifty. Can't go wrong. Uh, same thing. A uh, couple barter quarters and a couple SLQs and some more barber dimes. Again, those were right around spot price. Uh, picked up a Washington. Um, these ones I'm really excited to show off closer. Uh, some Walking Liberties um, and some Barbers, all at ten bucks a piece. Which is right at spot, or was actually a couple cents under, but, you know, same things with these barbers. But these two in particular, uh, 1917S, with the mint mark on the front. And then the one with it on the back. Uh, this one's actually pretty rare. It's, it's worn, but a lot of people do not have that in their collection, and I was one of them until now. And I got it for spot price. So I was super happy about that. Like I said, I'll bring them all up close for you guys can see them. I'll, I'll do a couple short videos. I uh, picked up some foreign silver. Uh, Peru, one soul. Uh, kind of beat up. But super great deal because it's about a $20 silver coin. And I got it for 12 A couple Canadians uh, got for under silver. I uh, picked up a Morgan. And picked up two commemorative uh, silver halves uh, for under silver as well. Um, but they're not in the best shape. Like this one has some weird coloring to it. But like I said, I'll show those closer. Um, I did make one bad purchase. Uh, I did not include it in this. I'm a little embarrassed by it. Because at the show I should have known, I should have asked the guy if I could take it out of the flip and look at it better. And I would have known that it was fake. Um, I got home, that's the first thing I did. And as soon as I took it out, I'm like, I could tell. I, I had suspicions, but as soon as I took it out, I could tell. And I you know, confirmed it by weighing it and stuff like that. So, it wasn't a terrible buy. I mean, I, I didn't lose a lot. Basically, I was under uh, spot price and all the silver I bought. By about eight bucks, and that's about what I lost on the other coin I bought. So I ended up breaking even. So whatever, you live, you learn. So next time, you know, if I'm suspicious, I, I know to go that extra step and ask about it. But like I said, I'll post closer up videos of all these coins. Um, like I said, I'll probably break it down: dimes, quarters, half dollars, things like that. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Have a good one.